Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Halton Hills housing update. So I am in Dallas for a conference, so that is why the lighting is horrible and my background is different. But here's a quick market update about what happened last week in Halton Hills. I've got my handy dandy coaster here, like improvising. So in Georgetown last week, we had 14 sales, which is the highest number we've seen in a long time. It does feel like the market has sort of picked up I mean, most of those sales were under 1.2 million. All of them were under 1.5 million, but things are moving, so that's great. There was 16 new listings, so a high amount of new listings, but we did have 11 properties completely come off the market, so inventory dropped again this week. Acton had no sales and three new listings. Glenn Williams had no sales, no new listings. Limehouse had one sale and one new listing and same with the rural market, one sale, one new listing. So now looking at active inventory, last week we were at 169. This week we are down to 164. Again, this number keeps dropping and that is great news for the overall balance in the market. Georgetown is down to 103 active listings. It has been I think months, I don't have my book with me, since we have seen under 100 listings and we are going to hopefully end out August with that so we can start to feel some, again, some balance where buyers are actually transacting, which seems to be happening, and the listings are just kind of slowing down. Looking at our price points, under 800,000 is down from 12 to 11 this week, so that's softening. 800 to a million is down from 25 to 23. One to 1.5 million is down from 42 to 39. I cannot remember the last time, it was probably April, that we had under 40 active listings in that price pocket. And now 1.5 million plus, the only price point that is up this week from 27 to 30 active listings. Again, I talked about it last week, that price point is just not moving. So if you are a seller in that price point, hold on for a ride because really not a lot is moving over that 1.5 range. Acton this week is up from 21 to 24 active listings. So inventory is sitting pretty high in Acton. Glen Williams remains the same at 10. Limehouse remains the same at three. And the rural market is down significantly this week from 29 to 24. We saw quite a few properties terminate in the rural market. So overall, another good week. August has definitely stayed true to what normally happens in the summer. So we may finish out August in our lowest inventory levels in months and definitely in Georgetown, that market that has felt such saturation and so much available inventory will hopefully be coming down. So I will be back next Tuesday in Canada to update you on what happens this week. So have a great week, everyone.